Okay, let me know your take on this one. Okay. My mother-in-law threw me a baby shower and kept all the presents for herself. What? How would you go? Hang on. Why did she keep them? Because they're baby presents. They're baby presents. Does so, the mum like so. breast pumps <laughs> secretly? She's like sitting there pumping her breasts without she, anything coming out. So the girl reached out to Reddit because she was in despair and needed some validation on her side. So this poor girl was not very close with her family. So they moved closer to her husband's family. Little did she know her mother-in-law is batshit crazy. So okay. anyone with a crazy mother-in-law, listen up. Cause yes, and not in a good way, clearly. Uh, no. Okay. Batshit crazy, yes. So the mother-in-law was quite upset because they decided to elope when they got married and she wasn't oh. able to be part of it and invite all her friends. And she said, well, because you stole that from me, <gasps> that, that precious time in my life, I wanted to be part of that, that opportunity, you, you stole it. I'm going to throw you a baby shower. And the girl's gone, okay, no problems. She's done a registry. She's decided on the theme. Like the the, the girl has said, like she, the mum said, what do you want? And she's gone, oh, I want, you know, this There's type of there. stuff and oh, whatever. Nice, nice. And, and the okay. registry. So far it's okay. Until the mother-in-law went, yeah, scrap that. I don't think that's a good idea at all. So she's got rid of the whole, she's done the, it's her baby shower for her baby. She keeps saying it's her baby. Can't wait for okay. my baby to arrive. There's some freaking issues with this lady mm. going on. So she kept all the presents because the presents were for her nursery at her house. <laughs> <laughs> including the breast pumps, including the n- nappies. What? Everything. Yes. So this woman has basically oh, that's mean. got really annoyed at this daughter-in-law because they eloped and has said, well, this baby is is my Sounds baby. like she's got that Oedipus Rex syndrome, you know, where her little boy's grown up. She can't, you know, change can't his nappy it. anymore. Uh-huh. She can't change, you know, Sam's nappy and uh, <laughs> at the age of uh, 33. Yes. So she's got to, you know, how does she retain a little bit of that love for her baby? So she, she goes psycho. She gets the second one. Yeah. Mother-in-laws, I reckon, or grandparents, there are some nutty grandparents who nutty. are like that and they're very... The line is crossed yes. so far. Yeah, yeah, and they do cross that line and mm. there ain't no boundaries. No. No boundaries, lady. So do you want to know what the Reddit users have said? Yes. They went to absolute town, literally saying you need to phone the hospital, She needs to. they need to be aware of who she is, phone the police. Oh, for when the baby comes. In case cameras. she runs away with the baby? Something. Or just the fact that you don't know what she's going to do. Will she put on a fake booby and try and brush for... I don't know. She could be a nutbag. Nutbag. So they should install oh. security cameras, move far away. She's like the nanny napper. <laughs> the nanny napper. The nanny napper. Ah, oh, <laughs> she's coming to get you. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. And your baby. With her, with her silicon titties. Come to nanny. She comes into the hospital room waiting for her to fall asleep and then she snatches the baby. She goes, you know those twin rooms. Have you seen Friends with Rachel and what's have I seen Friends? <laughs> Monica, Chanel, sorry, have I seen? Sorry, okay. you heard it here. Wherever you're listening, <laughs> also to those of you at home, have you seen Friends? <laughs> if you haven't, where the fuck have you been living in the last yes. like forty years? No. Okay, <laughs> so the episode where Rachel is sharing her room with another woman, and they're both giving birth, and she's getting annoyed because all these other oh yes, right. So yep. just pretend the girl goes in to have her baby, and mother-in-law's got her legs in stirrups, ready to go. I'm pushing. Are you ready to push? Like she's pretending. She's trying to live through this yeah, woman vicariously. I'll just yes. take this baby. It's mine. <gasps> Maybe I will do that, Chanel, because I had cesareans. <laughs> So if Wolfie ends up having a baby with someone, I might be if that If your person. son has a baby, yeah. I will be really impressed. No, if he has a baby, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> Chanel? If I have a daughter-in-law, you know, maybe I'll be doing that too. Yeah. Can I be in the birthing suite and watch it, my, you know, watch my grandson be born? You'll be trottling into that birth suite and you, they'll get a swift hand across your the back of your top pulling you back and it'll be me going, get out of there. Why are you Leave in there? That's alone. even grippier. <laughs> the, poor, the poor daughter-in-laws, they're going, why is your mum here and her weird friend, Chanel? I'll be popping up over your, sh- over your shoulder going, don't worry, I've got it. Get out of here. We'll be Rhonda and Raylene by then. <laughs> We'd be like, I just want to look at it. Come out into the world. And you're like, oh, to look. <laughs> get out of there, Ronnie. Get out of Ronda. here. Ronnie, stop it. Give the girl some privacy. <laughs> also, we have our damn wigs on. We'll be a real nutbag. I love her. End oh. of the day, just look, put her in line. This mother in law, yeah. sort her out. Put her in the ground. 